Yes, welcome back. It's time once again for the Wired World Challenge. Your turn to show us what you know about science and technology. Sarah Lane, who's ready to take the challenge? Why, Leo, on the line, it's <laughs> Charles from Good Spring, Tennessee. It sounds like a nice place, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yes. Good Spring. Yes. Charles is actually going to school to study information technology, and in his spare time, he hones his skills by building computers and home networks. He's our perfect challenger. He's the guy to watch the show today, I'll tell you. Good luck. Hey, Charles. Hello. Welcome to the show. You like rounded or flat cables? What do you think? Do what? Rounded or flat cables? I still stuck in the flats. Flat. I use flats too. Why yeah, not? I'm old. So. I'm old too. You know what? You know it, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some calls it a sling blade. Mm -hmm. So, as you know, the rules are simple. I don't. Know. I just channeled Billy Bob there. I don't know what happened. You select a category. I'll ask you a question. If you give me the right answer in 15 seconds or less, you get a shot at our big board full of fabulous prizes. This is the hardest part, Charles, is choosing the category. You ready? I'm ready. Here are the categories. Annoying animations, smooth transition, stellar comedy, and anatomy of a circle. Which Those are one? some toughies. Yeah. Let's go with the uh, smooth transition. Mm -hmm. Smooth transition. Mm -hmm. What vehicle? <laughs> oh, I know this one. What vehicle was designed by Dean Kamen? Sold through Amazon.com, cost $5,000. You might see him going down the street. Steve Wozniak has one. Oh, he um, rides at things. Yeah, I know. It's that uh, little scooter thing. Yeah, what's it called? Uh, oh, Segway. Segway is absolutely correct. <laughs> Hey, don't play that sound. He got it right. Yeah, please don't do that to don't me. Don't do that. You know, that's the sound they play when you get my book. And as a matter of fact, besides the PC and the Photoshop and the Linksys router, there is a, there are a few copies of my books in there. So pick wisely. Yep. One through 25. Which do you want? Uh, give me 17. I've already got your book. So let's try yeah, that. Yeah, let's hope it's not the book. 17. Yeah, it's a good prize. That's the Intel oh. on PC camera, so we can see you on NetCam next time. Okay, that's something I don't have that anyway. There you go. You needed that. Thanks, okay. for, thanks for playing with us, Charles. You wanted the main gear. I know you did. That oh, has yeah, rounded naturally. cables. That's a, ni that's a nice PC. But yeah. we, do, we do like this prize. It's, a, it's coming to you, $70 prize from Intel, and uh, thanks, for thanks for playing our game. Take care. Now, you, too, can win. You know, one more camera going out means one fewer camera on the board one more chance for you to win that main gear pc go to our website and sign up you could be tomorrow's contestant you have one more chance to take our daily quiz head to the website click on the quiz link give us the right answer we give you maybe a tech tv shirt I don't, it is a drawing right there's sarah lane is holding it up Woo! She always that is a shirt she said she always wanted to be vanna vanna white go I ahead am, do the i am vanna you are oh very nice <laughs> Our question of the day! Look at her. She's such a Vanna. What <laughs> measurement is used to rate PC power supplies? But you're a smart Vanna, see? That's the difference. Decibels, joules, watts, or jolts? Get to the website, give us your answer. We'll talk about it. We'll call for help continues. Ah, yes, I remember joules and jolts. Fabulous movie. Before the break, we asked you what measurement is used to rate PC power supplies. It is watts. Watts. Watts are uh, joules per second. I didn't know that. Watts is the number of joules used per second. It's not that much. It takes about 750 watts to equal one horsepower. But you don't need a whole lot of wattage. You know, a 60-watt light bulb, right? Most PCs run consistently around 100 watts, just like a light bulb's worth of power. Hope you got that right. Good luck if you did. You're in the drawing for the T-shirt. Before we check the email, let's take a look at some of the great stuff coming up on Call for Help show tomorrow. DV Garage's Alex Lindsay is back with his weekly Photoshop tips. This time, lighting effects, adding them to your digital mats. This is very important to make it look 3D, to make it look real. Plus, if you are looking to buy, sell, or find just about anything in your area, a great site to show you, an online community bulletin board with postings on every subject imaginable. And if you want to turn your PC into the most expensive digital alarm clock ever made, well... We have the free file that'll do that. Hey, at least the file's free. And, of course, your live calls. That's what makes this show what it is today. It's all coming up on tomorrow's show. Roger. Roger. Four more minutes. How are you doing? Is it Putin? You, no. look, you look grim. What's going on? What happened? You got an... It's booting! Baby! 
<laughs> you, you sandbagger, you. He did it, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Chang, he's the man once Woo. again. Woo. He built a PC in under one hour. And you know what? He was, he was sandbagging the whole way, wandering around. It didn't take him very long. Very impressed, Roger. Well sure. done. Congratulations. <laughs> he's breathing a sigh of relief. Sarah Lane, it's been so great having you. Thank you for filling it's in for Kat. It's been so great. You can come anytime. Do we have I'm time for email or no? We do. Let, let's do some email questions. Okay. Jamie, in, down in Coconut Creek, Florida, mm -hmm. wants to know how to set up a PC and an iMac to a single monitor. Can oh, that, is that Oh, yes, possible? you can. Yeah, you need what's called a KVM, keyboard uh, video, keyboard, what does KVM stand? Keyboard video monitor? Yeah. Mouse. Oh, mouse. Boy. Keyboard video mouse. And it allows you, you need one, of course, it'll support USB because Macs are all USB. Uh, Belkin is the one uh, that we recommend. We use Belkin's on the screensaver set. And that way we can have five or six computers under the desk, one monitor, one keyboard above the desk, and switch from one to the other. We use a similar kind of system here on uh, Call for Help, but it's a little bit uh, more complicated. If you go to Belkin.com, you type KVM for, again, keyboard, video, mouse. You'll see a bunch of them. The OmniView is their brand name. Look for one that supports the Mac. And I think almost all of them do. Let's see. This is the classic. That means it's the cheap one, right? And I think they all support USB and uh, Macintoshes now. You have another one, one for me, Ms. Yeah, Lane? Yeah, Joey in Clarksville, Tennessee's mother speaks Korean, mm -hmm. and he's trying to figure out how you can change the settings so when she clicks on her username, Windows loads up in Korean. That Can't is a little that. more complicated. We've actually ha addressed that question a couple of times. Uh, if you have Windows Professional, I found out, Windows XP Professional, you can install a Korean language pack. And uh, those are available for free from the Microsoft site. And I believe then each individual user would have their own desktop and their own settings and should have their own menus. I believe that would be the case, but you should try it. If you have XP Home, you're kind of out of luck. You have to actually buy the Korean language version of Windows for that to work. But if you have Pro, they do have language packs. Do we have time for another one? I'm th 30 seconds, Sarah. Can you do one more? Okay. Dana in Ocean Springs. Look at her. She's going. I am so good. Rocking My son has an old computer running Windows 98. The defragmenter will pull up but won't initiate. Yeah. Do I have to reinstall Windows 98? No. It's a very common problem. Best thing to do is restart the machine in what we call safe mode. When you're starting up, tap F8 a bunch of times. It'll come up in a mode, a minimal mode with a minimal amount of drivers, nothing going on in the background, then run the defrag. Almost always that'll fix the problem. Sarah, great working with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thanks joining for me. Everybody. Roger, you are the man. We'll see you tomorrow on Call for Help. Remember, if you've got a problem with your personal confuser, don't whine, don't moan, don't yell. Just call for Roger. Ooh. Yeah, have a good time. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> you did it. You did it. It's amazing, isn't uh, it? Well, how'd you fix it? How'd you fix the, fix the BIOS thing? I think that's weird. It just, it's, yeah. It was because it reset. Okay. You. With the it's your fault, Foo Foo. You, were you not kicking at it? <laughs> I love it. He's ready, though. He's got the first aid kit. Yeah.